The 7 Best Ways to Budget Your Money In this video, we discuss budgeting. A budget can be crucial to understanding and directing where your money goes. Whether you're new to planning your finances or have struggled to do so in the past, these budgeting tips can help you stick to the plan. If you're new here, then it would mean a lot to us if you subscribe to our channel. Get more life-changing, mindset-shifting, and informative content regularly, only here at Wealthmatic. Now before we proceed, I'd like to give a quick disclaimer. I may have experience in finance, but I am not in any way a financial advisor. I only deliver knowledge in a fun, exciting, and informative way. So, if your money is on a serious decline, I highly suggest that you are a financial advisor to help you with your situation. Now everyone may benefit from these 7 budgeting ideas. The first point we will talk about is actually the word itself, and the power of language. The word budget has a negative connotation. A budget, or whatever you want to name it, shouldn't scare you or limit you. It should be a chance for you to reclaim control over your money. Next, you should always start with determining why you're budgeting in the first place. Begin by stating what motivates you to make a budget. Are you still in debt, searching for ways to save costs, or just trying to cut back on your spending? Perhaps you're putting money up for a wedding or a new kid. When planning with a partner, talk over the specifics to make sure you're both on the same path. Number 3. Prioritize your costs and objectives. Understand the distinction among needs and wants, and then prioritize the necessities, such as groceries, shelter, and transport. That isn't to say that other costs aren't essential. Your finances such as paying down debt or saving for the future should still be prioritized. The idea of a budget is to figure out if your money is being spent on needs, wants, and if your spending is in consistency with your beliefs. When addressing the key spending areas, the 50-30-20 plan is a solid guideline. It recommends allocating 50% of revenues to necessities, 30% to desires, and 20% to savings and loans. Before you make a budget, think about what you want to get out of it. Number 4. Make room for the unexpected don't expect perfection from your budget. There will be surprises, and some costs may sneak through the gaps, such as a sporadic impulsive shopping. However, there are certain ways to cushion the blow. Make frequent payments to an emergency fund and set aside a little amount of money each month to handle the unexpected. You will be able to deal with a sudden auto repair or another emergency without resorting to credit cards or loans. Number 5. Experiment with various budgeting approaches. There are various ways to budget. Many people simply check in and monitor their costs daily. Others use budgeting apps because they require minimal effort. Learn about several budgeting systems, such as the 50-30-20 budget or the money envelope system, and find out what works for you best. If you have given it your best try and still can make it work, you should consider other possibilities. Number 6. Review your budget every month. Some costs such as Christmas gifts or car registration payments change from monthly installments or rarely happen. Income is also subject to change. Perhaps you made a bit more money this month from your dog walking part-time job than you did a few months ago. Checking in on your finances minimum once a month allows you to deal with any changes quickly. If you're in a family budget, a check-in also offers the chance to talk about your finances with your spouse or your family. Number 7. Automate with caution. Budgeting might be easier with technology, and setbacks can be avoided by a system that picks up on it even before you do. So why not delegate some of your tasks? Set up automated transactions so you can pay the bills or save money without having to think about it. And then use budget apps to keep track of the money. However, I recommend to keep a close eye on whatever you're doing with your budget. Technology won't do all the work of course, and you have to manually update any budgeting apps based on your personal finances and spendings. And that was it for today. Hope you learned a thing or two about budgeting. Good luck on your journey towards a worry-free life. If you want to elevate your life from the one that you have to the one that you desire and you deserve, be sure to click the subscribe button right now. This has been the one and only Wealthmatic, and we will see you on our next video.